Hey guys, Private Jack here. Quick toot, quick toot. Okay, basically we had a question a little while ago about uh, meet the engineer and how to remove items from the engineer in the actual meet the engineer movie. Well, a few of us looked at it and couldn't find the way to do it, but uh, perseverance pays off and guess what? I managed to stumble across a way of doing it. So, quick toot, quick toot, here we go. I've already got Meet the Engineer loaded, and as you can see here, it's built up of a lot of shots. And if you look at the animation set editor, over here, under this particular group, what Valve has done is they've grouped the engineer and the guitar together. So, anyway, make a long story short, let's right here. Hey, look, buddy. Okay, I'm going to turn the sound off. And this is the way you get rid of the helmet off the engineer. Now, you're going to have to do this for each and every shot that you want to get rid of the helmet. So, anyway, first things first. In the first scene, or the first shot, what you're going to do is you're going to select and make the shot uh, active. Go into the motion editor, and then up here in the animation set uh, editor, you're going to open up the group, you're going to select the engineer, and you're going to drag him off the group and make him his own element. Now, as soon as you make him his own element, his body parts now become selectable. See this? Already I can see that the helmet is selectable. So I'm going to select either the screen manipulator or the move manipulator, and I'm just going to pull the helmet off his head and out of the shot. Now, in order for you to be able to see the engineer in the other shots. What you now have to do is you have to take the engineer, pull him back up into the engineer guitar group, and reassign him to the group. If you don't do this, in the next scene he'll become invisible because he's not part of the group that's being called. Uh, it's just one of those ways that Valve works. So I'm going to go for the next scene, I'm going to go back into the clip editor, Move my playhead over top, and, oh, maybe I don't have to do it for each and every shot. Ah, there we go. Now, in shot three, the reason why the helmet is back on his head is because the engineer is no longer part of that group. That group is gone. See this? So, anyway... I'm going to open up the engineer. I'm going to find his unknown parts. I'm going to find the helmet. Go back into the motion editor, grab the screen or the move manipulator, and pull the helmet up out of the scene. Now that that's done, I go back into the clip editor, and I start scrubbing through time. Oh, look at that. His helmet is back on his head again. That means that something has changed in the uh, scene. And we go in and we make the scene active again. We see that the engineer is here again. Click on his helmet, go into the motion editor. And what they've done is they've added a new engineer. So grab a hold of his helmet, move it up out of the scene, and go back into the clip editor and carry on. Now, each time you move into a new scene and you find that his helmet's back on his head, it means they've either reassigned the, uh, the, the group or they've created a new engineer for the scene, and that means you have to go in and actually pull the helmet off his head again. So in scene whatever this is, shot whatever this is, see this? Engineer 3 means that there's a new engineer in the scene. Same thing, unknown, helmet, motion editor, screen manipulator, pull the helmet off his head. Way it goes. Back into the clip editor, scrubbing through time. Oh, 
back into another scout, uh, another engineer. Highlight, uh, make the scene active. Motion editor, select the engineer, open up, expand his parts, open up the unknown, find his helmet, off his head, there it goes. So like I say, you have to do it for each individual shot. You have to scrub through it, find the engineer. If he's part of a group, pull him out of the uh, group and make him his own element. And then before you carry on, uh, move him back into the group. If the group is called again in another scene, then it looks like that the helmet is going to stay off his head. Or if they've created a new engineer and brought him into the scene, then the helmet is going to be back on his head and you have to go through the whole rigmarole again. And that's how you get the helmet off the engineer's head and add other hats or whatever you're going to do with them. So, hope you found this tutorial quick and it is quick tutorial helpful and with that private jack out